2024. Go mode for the next generation of Nintendo Switch. The Direct proved it, cemented in our faces that the Switch is nearly over. But I do think we've got a while to wait before we get to that system. What's going on everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. Recent rumors have suggested March 2024 is the big date in everyone's mind and what Nintendo has been kind of feeding to developers, either release or reveal, nobody knows. I think now we know. I think now we can safely say that it's going to be revealed early next year for a late next year launch. Now, maybe not too late. I think September might actually be the secret sauce spot for the launch of this system. But yesterday's Direct, which indicated many games for the first half of 2024, including some in the summer, which is Luigi's Mansion 2 HD and most probably Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door, tells us that Nintendo is going to ride this thing out. But the biggest case for Nintendo Switch 2 not hitting in the first half is actually a game that wasn't there. I think Metroid Prime 4 being completely absent shows Nintendo's hand more than maybe you think. Metroid Prime 4 has been absent forever, so you could just write this off as one more time it's absent. But in reality, Metroid Prime 4 is indicated to be the last big Switch release. You know, Zelda was huge this year, we got Mario Wonder, no shade to Princess Peach or Paper Mario or any of those, God forbid shade to Paper Mario, but Metroid Prime 4 is supposed to be the last one. Some people are worried that Nintendo will go ahead and just bump Metroid Prime 4 to Switch 2, but I don't believe they'll do that. They have committed for years now, better part of a decade, that this game will come out eventually on Switch. And I think that it will as a cross-gen title. And that implies that it's going to release with or right around the Switch 2. And so when would that be? This Direct was our chance to really see. Metroid Prime 4 showing up indicated a first half of 2024 launch. Metroid Prime 4 not showing up almost assuredly indicates a second half of 2024 launch. And that also to me indicates a Switch 2 launch in the second half. The other thing is, we're not gonna have a March announcement and a March reveal. They're not gonna shadow drop this thing. It's not a Beyonce album that can't just come out day and date, even though that would be crazy. I think they probably still would sell out, but given the marketing might Nintendo will wanna put behind this and how much money they will spend making sure everybody on the planet knows there's a new Switch, you're gonna need a multi-month lead up. And you're most likely gonna need a March to September lead up. Six months feels about right, and if you look, Nintendo has games confirmed for January, February, and March, and then we've got titles in the summer. We've got Luigi's Mansion 2, and like I said, probably Paper Mario. This to me says we've got the groundwork laid out for nothing major happening until at least the summer E3 season, what used to be E3. Now, there's nothing to say that Nintendo can't release more Switch games after Switch 2 is out, but I don't believe that this is how it would go. It'd be pretty ballsy to say Luigi's Mansion 2 HD, a port from 3DS is going to be our Switch release after Switch 2. So I think all of this is preceding the Switch 2. I think they're really laying some fan servicey type games to fill in the gaps while we wait for Switch 2. I think despite Nintendo using March last time as a really risky but awesome release window, getting away from sort of PlayStation and Xbox's typical holiday launches and even their own typical fall releases, they found a sweet spot that worked for them. It was kind of a golden moment, and maybe we see Nintendo wanting to recreate that. But I think given how successful they are right now, they don't need to operate that out of pocket. When Nintendo Switch launched, Nintendo was coming off one of their worst generations ever. The Wii U only pushed 13 million units, and Nintendo was being poo-pooed by everybody. Now Nintendo, in possibly the strongest transitionary period ever, with a console that refuses to stop selling, and with major games dropping 20 million units like it's nothing. So this time, they can head into the holiday season and really generate huge holiday buzz, huge holiday sellouts, secondhand markets, quite probably, and compete toe-to-toe -to -toe directly with Microsoft and PlayStation in the holiday season and probably usurp them. At that point, PS5 and Xbox Series will be years old and Nintendo Switch 2 will have all the momentum. Launching in September, though, does allow Nintendo to get stock out to the hardcore, the first day adopters, and then restock for the holiday season, attempting in one fell swoop to grab the casuals and the hardcore. This would be Nintendo's ideal scenario because it allows them then to sell games early on to a vast participatory audience. If you launch games early, you risk that, hey, there's only 2 million users, there's only 3 million users, there's only 5 million users. So maybe third parties and other potential partners are skittish and don't want to release just on Switch 2. 
But if you'd like your third party partners to take full advantage of the Switch 2, if you want to make sure that there are plenty of exclusive games for your new console, one great way to do it is guarantee a player base. And if Nintendo was to launch in say September, again, giving them time to take care of the hardcore day one and still pop Walmart, Target, Best Buy for the casuals around the holiday season, or just for those that are waiting you know, to save up the money, get it as a gift, give it as a gift, you know, don't pretend to know everybody's specific scenario. That allows them to say, hey, we're gonna have two waves of consoles in the initial launch period. You wanna put your game out in the holiday season, be my guest. Now, how does this tie back into the Direct and Metroid? Well, I think Metroid Prime is going to be leveraged as both a title that is shown off on Switch 1 and Switch 2 to highlight the difference, as well as a game that can sell for both and possibly even be upgradable. I don't know how Nintendo will handle this, and it's really going to be interesting. We've seen both Sony and Microsoft take different approaches to upgrading your games, right? Oh, you have a PS4 game? Here's how you put it to PS5. In fact, different publishers handle it more greedy or less greedy. Nintendo seems to be using a different cartridge style for Nintendo Switch 2, and so I don't know exactly how that is going to work or affect things. Will there be a Metroid Prime 4 Switch cartridge and a Metroid Prime 4 Switch 2 cartridge? Or will there just be a Switch cartridge but then upscales and looks and runs better on Nintendo Switch 2? All of these things are fascinating and going to be very interesting, but it's Nintendo's omission of Metroid Prime, their most anticipated current title out there, and the fact that they are saving it for something. What they're saving it for is Switch 2. If you look at the patterns of how things are established for their upcoming releases, the games that they announced yesterday, the things that they didn't announce, and the fact that there's many games that seemingly are in a wait and see mode. 3D Mario, haven't got a brand new one since the first year of the system. Mario Kart, haven't got a new one this entire generation. Donkey Kong refuses to come out and play. He'll play with Mario, but we can't play as him. And now, Metroid Prime 4. What are all these games being saved for? Why are they not filling up 2024 with heavy hitters? I think we hoped that maybe there would be more games to sort of lead into Switch 2, but if you want any confirmation that Switch 2 is right around the corner, it's the sort of slow direct, and it's the cadence of their releases, it's when they're putting games out, and it's the fact that they're using two remasters, Luigi's Mansion and Paper Mario, in their summer season that highlights, okay, we probably don't have a huge game releasing in June or July. July has been used for Splatoon 3, for Pikmin 4. It's been a tentpole time for Nintendo to put out a highly anticipated, huge selling game. Not this time. I don't think Nintendo will have a huge July game. Perhaps that they will, but I think most things will come out August forward. I could see Metroid Prime 4 launching in August, preceding the Switch 2 launch by a little bit, and then being ready to transition to the Switch 2 if you're someone who chooses to spend the $400 plus and upgrade. I think all of this is leading to a big early year reveal. And I initially thought they would reveal in the summer, but I'm changing my line of thinking. I now think Nintendo will reveal the system around March as indicated by Nate Drake and others hearing rumors and things from Gamescom that their sources telling them, hey, Nintendo's floating this March 2024 date. And then I think the system will launch early fall 2024. That could be September, that could be October. I don't know that Nintendo will wait till November, which is the typical console launch month. I do think this idea of getting out a little bit ahead may really benefit them in the install base way and initially being able to meet supply, meet demand. And that's something they've heavily addressed. Like, hey, we want to make sure that we are able to meet this. We want to make sure that we do have stock and pushing it out or waiting for it to come out in the fall. Make sure that they do have enough stock. They can build up. Factories can be printing, printing, printing press and press and press and, and get ready for a big launch and then replenish, like I said, before we hit Black Friday and the biggest shopping days of the year. But it's going to be fall 2024. If you didn't believe in any of this Switch 2 stuff before, the direct should indicate as such. And the Metroid Prime 4 omission really to me means that that game is gonna be leveraged as one of their big pieces of why you should upgrade to Switch 2. How we showcase this on Switch 1, and then we showcase it on Switch 2. They can do the same with Tears of the Kingdom, Breath of the Wild, Splatoon 3, Mario Odyssey, plenty of games, but something tantalizing and new that runs really fancy on Switch 2, like Metroid Prime 4, that we know at least a couple million people have been heavily anticipating, that'll be a nice get. And I think we're prepped to have one of the best launch lineups ever for a Nintendo console, although we'll talk about that another day. Getting Metroid Prime 4 and a new 3D Mario close to launch 
Man, that is gonna be a great combo. And then who knows what else we see from third parties or other smaller Nintendo studios as well. But fall 2024, early fall 2024 is what we're looking at now. No chance of 2023 release. And I think no chance of an early 2024 launch. I think Nintendo established, hey, we've got our games and you're gonna have to wait to see what our future holds and what our next big games are. They didn't announce really any big games for next year. And no matter if you're a fan of Peach or Luigi's Mansion or Paper Mario, that's all acknowledge that those are not the heavy hitters that something like Animal Crossing, Smash Brothers, Mario Kart, or Metroid Prime would be, given the fact that, hey, those are core experiences, new experiences, highly anticipated experiences, and in Metroid Prime 4's case, an experience that's been promised since the very early days of Nintendo Switch and is yet to show its face once again, or really at all. A logo reveal isn't really a face reveal. Still waiting to see what Samus looks like built for this generation and quite probably the next one too. Let me know if you're pumped for a fall Nintendo Switch 2 launch and if you think maybe there's a chance it comes earlier. I really don't think so, but I'd love to hear when you think Switch 2 will launch for me. I'm going a March reveal, a September launch, and I think we're in business. So thanks so much for watching everybody. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay up and stay positive out there. Until next time, Switch Force out.